Hello there and welcome to Fairyland Cottage and thanks very much for joining me here today. I can't believe that it is the end of July already. In Ireland it has been a wet one. I know a lot of you are still experiencing drought. I wish I could just send you some of our rain here from Ireland. What I thought we could talk this month about was how to stay organised, how to reduce the amount of feeling of overwhelm. I found since raising a little human, I am getting a little bit more overwhelmed than before. Now I know I have to go easier on myself, but I've just found a few little tips that have seemed to work brilliantly for me and I thought we could share them today. The first one being getting up early and putting on a wash load. The other one being getting the bed ready for the nap. So what I found is I am thinking ahead for what's coming later in the day, but just getting it sorted early in the morning and then I can just forget about it and I seem to be able to relax more and enjoy then our time. So first thing in the morning as well, we usually will just get outside and get a little bit of fresh air. I find for me, it really grounds me. Of course, our little fairy is getting fresh air. It's just wonderful to be outside first thing in the morning. And of course, we've got the apple trees that are giving us a few apples. They're falling on the ground. So we're able to have some stewed apples. I would love to know how you all are. How has your month been for you? I hope those of you that were experiencing drought got some rain. It's been an interesting month in relation to vegetables and flowers growing. Some flowers and herbs seem to be taking a while to grow and then other things seem to actually be growing really fast. Having a garden definitely always keeps you on your toes. But it's lovely to be able to just go outside and get an apple and make some stewed apple. It's something really simple. And you know I've shared before that we do our best in this household to live an Ayurvedic lifestyle. So they always say for breakfast, depending on your body type, but really just to keep it simple and of course warm. So I do my best during the day to make three warm meals a day. And we have very simple things like oat porridge, millet, quinoa, polenta. And the minute we're finished breakfast, it's back outside. I do my best to spend a lot of time outside. I just feel it meets so many needs. But because of that, I find I do need to be a little bit more organized because, of course, I'm cooking the dinner for around midday. But our little fairy is up early anyway, and we're getting the day going. It's just such a lovely feeling to be able to be outside having a little bit of fun. Terry is building this beautiful slide and tree house. It's in progress. But it's such a wonderful addition to the garden. What I found is I have a time in my head that I need to be back inside to start cooking so that we can eat between 12 and 1. So I found more than usual, I am going by the clock, but I found that this just seems to keep me more relaxed. Another little tip I've been doing is just letting our little fairy do as much as she can do herself. It saves a lot of time, but it also gives her a sense of empowerment and independence. And there's so much more that they can do that we really don't realize.
The next tip I have, which if you've kids or grandkids, or even if you don't, it's if it's not toys, it could be furniture or ornaments, but just getting rid of some of them and rotating. So they have this thing in Montessori where you have less rather than more toys. And what you do is you'll take some out, keep them stored away, and then every few weeks rotate in different toys. They say that children can get a little bit overwhelmed when there's too much things to play with. And also I find it's just easier on the eye. And of course we have an open plan house. There's less things then to tidy up. So I really like this one. I'd love to know your thoughts on toys. I found our little fairy is mainly playing with just objects around the house, utensils and so forth. But I always feel drawn to getting little toys. But let me know whether you had a lot growing up or you were, you didn't have any at all. I'd love to hear about it. And then of course I will always put back the books so that she can come and just pick what she wants. Some days the books just seem to be all over the house. It's a nice little routine just to be able to put them all back organised. And I have so many wicker baskets in this house, I'm a big fan of them. You just store things away and then what I find sometimes is things I'll rotate them around, she's not really using them anymore and then I can just pass them on to someone else or a charity shop. The cloth nappies are going well, what I found is I need to be getting a wash on every morning or every other morning with them. And before I found myself stressing a little bit, wondering whether they were dry because we're getting so much rain and we don't have a tumble dryer. So I needed to have a few more so that I just wasn't stressing. The next thing I will do is gather some produce from the polytunnel. What I'm doing my best to do is gather as much as I can to then chop and actually just put it in the freezer so that it's all ready to go when I'm making the meals. I found this year's growing season very different. Things are much later than previously. Some things are doing great and other things aren't, but that's the way of growing vegetables. It's always peaks and troughs and you just have to go with it. So we're growing some Russian kale this year. We have had some caterpillars on them, as you can see there, and they have been munching away. Never had any problem with kale before, so I don't know whether it's the Russian variety, but it's just so simple. I have it chopped and I can then use it later. And I'm always then putting another set of nappies back into the basket, hiding them away, And the next tip I have is, what I've been doing is I've been writing down what day I'll clean a certain thing. So again, I was finding myself overwhelmed with all the cleaning. So say if it's Monday, Monday is the day I do all the mirrors and all the windows. The next tip I have is having everything labeled. These are all our little fairies clothes and I have everything labeled and everything folded and I know exactly where everything is definitely found that this has helped to ease the overwhelm and of course if she gets into them everything gets pulled out and I have to start the process again the next tip I have is just getting your child to help with the daily activities. She gets so much out of it. It's so incredibly beneficial for all her motor skills. And you can see here just her Bing. Bing. problem solving Bing. and so forth. And so Bing. while she is occupied doing that, I'm able to do things like cooking or 
cleaning. It also brings back so many memories of when I used to pod the peas in my grandmother's garden. So it really just warms my heart to see her do it. Me. So the next tip I have is, I shared a little bit about it earlier, was I have everything chopped and ready to go in the freezer. So this is some ginger. I'll buy the ginger fresh, chop it all, put it in the freezer, and then every day it just saves on chopping time. And this is some shard that I've previously chopped and I keep it in the freezer. The other tip I have, I've started doing this and it's an absolute game changer, is deciding what I'm gonna cook the day before. I've never been able to really do meal prepping. So this is my way of meal prepping. The day before I decide what I'm gonna cook the following day. And it has absolutely changed everything. I was spending so much time deciding what I wanted to cook that so much time was going by instead of actually cooking. So that's a little tip that has definitely worked for me. Because I'm doing my best to do the three warm meals a day, it's definitely the one thing that I found the most challenging. How to be supplying these nutritious meals that of course I'm cooking every day and still spend the time with my little ones. So if anyone has any advice in that area, I would love to hear. And after our tea time, it is back outside again. The way I like to do it is morning walk, Tars are out for nap, evening walk, Tars her out for the evening sleep. And she's a really good sleeper, so it's been working well for us. Let me know whether you're a morning person or an evening person. I absolutely love the energy at evening time. Everything is quieter. You can feel everything settling down from the day. I kind of reminisce back on how the day went. So what I also like to do on walks is collect some berries. It's like using everything as there is something practical in there. So at the moment we've got loads of blackberries, the strawberry season finished, then we had the raspberry season which was very short because we had a wasp infestation. They ate so many of the raspberries so now we've moved on to the berry season and the blackberry season is actually really early this year. So at the moment what we're doing is going about our evening walk and picking blackberries. I'm not great at making blackberry jam, so the way I like to use them is I'll soak them in water. It just lets any bugs or so forth crawl out of them, if there is any, and I'll then just put them into the freezer and keep them for different days in porridge or just to eat. And it's a great way of having a batch of really brilliant vitamin C, especially in the winter months. So we really try and stock up our freezer with blackberries.
So there are all the tips that I have. I've just found that these little things that I've put in place has made me feel calmer, I feel more organized, and I've definitely reduced the amount of overwhelm I have been feeling. So I would love to know any of your tips you have of just staying more organized, but obviously staying flexible too, and enjoying your day. So thank you very much for watching. It's been lovely chatting to you this month. I look forward to chatting to you all in the comments below and I will hopefully see you next month.